that's also good luck, you can miss me with that one. It's generally pretty serious. And then there's some other ones I've noticed that people take pretty seriously. So it makes sense that it kind of spills over into daily life. Hello friends, enemies, ex-girlfriends, IRS. I know at least two out of those three are watching, but views are views, ask me if I care. As you could probably imagine, once you spend some time in Thailand or any new country for that matter, you're gonna find some quirky stuff, some things you're not used to because the cultures are different. Now in America, you know we've got the step on a crack, break your mother's back, throw the salt over your shoulder, all that nonsense. In Thailand, there's a whole different ball game. A lot of Thailand superstitions are just kind of fun, little quirky, like kind of joke type deals, but some of them are taken pretty seriously. So today we're gonna cover just a few, only a few, or else this will be an hour long video. Let's jump into it. Okay, sorry, my bad. I lied kind of. I just wanted to let you guys know that I do read my YouTube comments. I check my DMs. I have heard a few of you mention that lately I haven't gotten outside to film much and I totally understand that. But I'll be honest with you, the past two, maybe three weeks in Thailand, it has not been very fun to be here. There's a huge heat wave going on in Thailand. I mean, it's always hot, but usually it's around 33 to 35 here in Pattaya. It's been closer to 40. Not only is it rough for me just being that hot and being out filming, Unfortunately, my POS camera does not handle the heat. I've already melted two batteries, and I'm afraid the next one I do is gonna blow up inside the camera, and then we're all SOL. As soon as it's bearable, and as soon as the camera can handle it, I will be back out. I just wanna let you guys know that I do see about 95% of the comments, and as long as they're constructive, I will do my best to implement them in the video. So if there's anything else that you wanted to see, or don't wanna see, or don't wanna hear, or wanna hear, let me know down in the comments. Okay, now let's get started. Now, if you're on your way to Thailand, from America, one thing you're gonna have to deal with pretty much no matter where you are, is there's lots of different critters here. And one thing you'll start to notice is a lot of these kind of like fun and quirky superstitions, not many of the serious ones that we're gonna get into, have to do with animals. One being if one of those huge Godzilla-esque monitor lizards get inside your house, you're supposed to talk to it nicely and ask it to leave, and if you do, it'll bring you good fortune. Thailand also has some of the biggest geckos in the world that no matter where you are, you're gonna hear them all the time. I hear them out on my balcony eating bugs. And if you're leaving the house and you hear one of the toke geckos behind you, I'm not gonna try to make the sound, it's just embarrassing. But if you hear it behind you when you're leaving, that's bad luck. White elephants bring good luck and prosperity to the village. And apparently, if a hive of bees builds their nest in your house, that's also good luck. You can miss me with that one. Now, if you are reading up on your Thailand cultural differences, you'll know that the head comes up in a lot of them. You know, the head is revered in Thailand. So a lot of these superstitions also have to do with that. Things like if you, you know, you're hanging up your laundry to dry, there's no dryers here really. So if you're hanging up your laundry to dry, your socks and your chonies shouldn't be, you know, above everyone's head. Don't cut your hair on Wednesdays. If you're combing your hair and the comb breaks while you're combing it, you're supposed to throw it away immediately. And if you sleep with your head pointing west, you're gonna have nightmares. So after reading tons of like blog posts about you know Thai superstitions and the ones I've just heard around my Thai friends, girls, whatever, there seems to be two common trends. Our next one and then the last one. And the last one is definitely the majority bubble of what all these things have to do with. But one of the main ones has to do with money. I mean, ties wanna get rich, ties wanna be rich, just like everybody else in the world. So a lot of these superstitions have to do with wealth, prosperity, how you can make more money, how you can lose the money you have. Things like if you leave your house without washing the dishes, you will wash away your future money. I definitely need to take note on that one because I hate doing dishes. Do you hate doing dishes? I hate doing dishes. Other things like if you find a coin on the ground and you don't pick it up and keep that, as your lucky bot, future money will do its best to avoid you. Putting rings on your right hand, on the middle fingers, I'm pretty sure, will help you be more wealthy, but putting one on your left pinky will help you appeal more charming. Don't sweep your house at night, or else you will sweep all your money away that you earned during the day. Now, just like in America, you'll meet some Thai people that it seems like they're bringing up one of these superstitions like every 30 seconds and there's no way you're gonna keep up. And then other people, you never really hear about it. Quite a few of these are still pretty common and you're gonna hear them quite often. And then some other ones do kind of seem like they're like fading out a little bit, kind of like the older generation. And while most of them seem to kind of just be like, well, for lack of a better word, fun, minus a few, all the stuff that tends to do with people's heads is generally pretty serious. And then there's some other ones I've noticed that people take pretty seriously is like wearing black to events that are supposed to be like cheerful 
were fun so like don't wear your whole black get up to like birthday parties or anything like that now i would say probably 85 now probably 90 percent of all these that you're gonna see in person or you're gonna read about they all have to do with one thing every thai movie that's made in a specific genre all has to do with this one thing. If you've watched enough videos or you've seen photos of Thailand or you spent some time in Thailand, you'll notice on pretty much every block, every building, you'll see the little houses. And a lot of times they got like food or sodas and stuff. Those are spirit houses, essentially a place where Thais can, you know, pay respects or, you know, ask for blessings from the spirits that are in that area. In Thailand, Buddhist culture and spirituality, it all kind of meets in the middle and everybody grows up with it. So, spirits. Ghosts, you're gonna hear about it all the time. If you're ever walking down a street at night that's kind of dark, maybe there's empty buildings and you're with a Thai girl, you're gonna hear about ghosts. She's gonna be scared 95% of the time. You're not supposed to call newborn babies cute or else a spirit might hear that and want to come and take the baby. So you're supposed to call the baby ugly instead. Yes, that is true. I didn't believe it. I looked it up. I asked some of my Thai friends. It's 100% true. For some reason, I love that one. I don't know about you guys, but a lot of the time, I think newborn babies are butt ass ugly. Once they're a few months old, that's when they get cute. But you know, like a two week old baby, they're not cute. So let's just call it what it is. Other things like pregnant women shouldn't go to funerals or else the spirits might contact the baby, might hurt the baby. If you're ever out at night and you hear a voice or voices calling to you, you have to avoid them because that spirit's trying to enter your life. Now this part of this list could go on and on and on, and it's on both sides of it. It's not just like, oh, spirits are bad in Thailand. It's, it's the complete opposite. Most of the stuff you hear about spirits is gonna be good things. If you do read or ask about a lot of these, it's all stuff on how to get the spirits to bless you. So it's not just like, Thai people believe in ghosts, even though they do, they just kind of believe in spirits, both good and bad. Now, like we said, Thai culture slash Buddhist culture slash spirituality, it's kind of all intertwined. So it makes sense that it kind of spills over into daily life. And if you spend enough time here, it will begin to spill over into yours. That's 100% true. Even if you might not believe in it, you'll catch yourself doing some of this stuff. And like we said, while well, most of them do seem relatively harmless, and it's not like every Thai person you meet is gonna be you know, freaking out about ghosts and doesn't want you to do this and that, but it's a pretty safe bet that you'll run into at least one along your journey. And there are some more serious ones, so those are good to know, because people can get genuinely upset if you do do a few of those, but I mean, if anything, it's a fun point of conversation. You know a little bit about what Thai people think about on the daily, and if anything, now you get to call babies ugly.